I did something stupid. Ugh. That's a sad story. Today I want to show you my new daily. You can actually see it already right there, but I'm not showing you that car yet. As you know, my Touring uh, has massive oil leaks. It basically leaked all the, all the oil out of it, and therefore I need a new car. I gotta get here somehow, fix the car, and get it back on the road, but, wait a sec, but I also need tires for this car and since I cannot put anything but 17 17s on the car because I did a brake swap it's a bit pricey thing and I was like what if I can get a car for the price of the tires for the touring and so I did So behind me you can see a Mark II Jetta or A2 Jetta, it's a second generation of VW Jetta which is basically Volkswagen Golf with the trunk. It's not the first one I looked at, me and Nikita we went to for a trip, like four hour long trip to see a Jetta Coupe or Coupe um, which was which was supposed to have rusted rockers and I found a very cheap rockers. I could replace that myself. I, I was like, okay, I'm ready to sacrifice two weekends for one week weekend for one side and the other for the other side. But when we got to the, to the car, um, turns out that instead of the floor, it had a roof sheet metal or whatever you call it instead of the car floor you had a roof piece I, I don't think i have to tell you that i passed what i didn't expect though was that i will totally fall in love with this car and i was like looking for another coupe um but remember my budget is winter tires for touring and i couldn't find them uh there were some nicer ones more expensive if I had the money, I would totally get them. Beautiful red one, super cool piece. But yeah, I bought Sedan. With additional doors we have on the back, we can't actually do anything cooler with this car than we would with the coupe and coupe looks better. But we weren't expecting much when we went to see the other car, the, this one. And when we started looking at it, we were like, dude, it's so good. <laughs> This car is like second least rusted cars in a workshop right after my GTI. And the GTI has only one rust spot. The Touring has a little bit more and Compact has one full rocker rusted. It's a very solid base. And obviously I gotta tell you about the engine. So. Uh, it's the slowest one they put in Jetta, I, I think, at least I think. It's a 1.6 diesel engine, no turbo, naturally aspirated diesel. I never had diesel and yes, I was looking for a car that, ha that is diesel because I, I really want to get to know those engines before we won't be able to use them because electric cars. That's a sad story. Can I do it one-handed? 
Yes. So this 1.6 diesel makes uh, 41 kilowatts. Oh well, oh, oh shit, that, that ain't good. We gotta fix it. Which is 70 horsepower. Which ain't that bad. But we, when we were going back to Krakow with this car, um, we were kind of limited to 110 kilometers per hour because this car couldn't go faster. It's pretty slow, but it's really what I wanted. Now the car ain't perfect, but it gives us a clean sheet to daily drive it. No modifications whatsoever. We're gonna do some mods, but don't tell anybody because I promised my girlfriend no modifications, okay? I don't want to talk about wheels and tires for this car because they have to go anyways. It's winter is coming. We need to put some winter tires and I have a set of new wheels and used tires for this car and it would fit perfectly in my opinion. Right now it's on some Steelys 14 inch bullshit. It's, it's just ugly, okay? Now the car was driven by an older gentleman who pretty much, I think, took all right care of it. it everything works in this car, all right? Um, it's just super old and it stinks and it's very, very dirty. But by the look of the fuel filter, it looks like it has been replaced recently. So I think he did the maintenance and it has awesome brakes, really. <laughs> the only thing I did to the car so far was clean the windshield because I wasn't able to drive safely back home and the steering wheel and the gear knob because I was literally scared and I didn't even use the blower to like breathe fresh air in a car because it's so dusty, I was scared that I'm gonna catch something. Hello, friend. Plan for today is just vacuum it and clean the windows and a bit of dust just to be um, safe driving it and breathing it. All right, one more thing before I get to vacuuming. I don't know if you noticed, but check this color out. Check this color out. Um, I, I, I think it's the same color and I didn't plan for it. And the coupe that I was watching was also the same color. Coincidence? Alright, um, it stinks very bad in this car. There's a lot of dust, which is, I think, worse than the smell. Um, the trunk is wet, so you're gonna have to investigate why and stop the leaking and stop the leaking stuff, because we don't want it to rust, right? <laughs> Am I more like a Bane or like Lord Voldemort? I would want to be like Bane. He was strong. If you liked the video so far, leave a comment saying Jetta. Oh, this, I'm taking the seats out.
Do you see what's going on in this car? <laughs> Check this thing out. There's an armrest in the back and a cup holders. I've never seen it on uh, such an old car, like have a cup holder in the back. Super cool. Um, I, I just don't like how the couch looks, but maybe we will re-upholster it to keep the Cup holders. I don't know. We'll see. The seat still obviously looks very bad, but today I don't have anything to wet clean it. So I'm going to put it in, into the car and on Sunday I will bring my extractor and wet clean the seat. Maybe the carpet. I'll see. Other than that, this seat really needs replacing. It's super uncomfortable. It's just, it's just terrible. I am actually thinking about putting one of my other seats in uh, the car, uh, just so I don't have to drive on that. As you can see, it's like, there's bare metal here. Uh, it's not only uncomfortable, but it's painful and probably not healthy because you can see some Freaking, I, I, I thought it's a foam. It should be a foam, but it's some kind of a hay. I don't know. I don't know. It's still not perfect, but it's a lot better than it was. And just a little bit of cleaning, I'm not detailing it by no means, but a little bit of cleaning makes a huge difference inside. I don't know if you can tell on camera. Right. Obviously this isn't a detailing video. What you can expect from this series is very slow progress on the OEM Plus, let's call it, uh, upgrades on the Jetta. I need to find a name for it. And it's mainly going to be cosmetic upgrades. Uh, I, I really don't want to pursue a lot of power, like any power actually with this car. It's super reliable cheap to maintain and cheap to drive very good gas mileage i don't want to destroy this so um we're gonna enjoy the car as is with only visual updates thanks for watching and see you next 